If you are a liberal and a vegan, do at this. Question one. Did you know no one gives a sh- I've seen so many girls on Tinder and dating apps having their bio six feet and above, like I only date over six feet. But imagine if guys had in their bio C cup and up. Like just imagine any guy who put that would be so canceled. And then you all want to talk about internalized misogyny and oh, society makes women feel like they have to look a certain way. If you want to talk about double standards, there's a double standard for you. In fact, I think the height thing is a little bit more offensive because you can change your bra size, but you can't really change your height. I just watched a video where a girl said uh, she's never seen a pretty Trump supporter. And if you're offended by that, then you're ugly. All right. So I know beauty is subjective and someone might find me attractive and other people might find me to be uh, looking like a dude. And, you know, that's okay. Again, if you're liberal, then me looking like a dude should be like a positive thing because you guys are all in support of that. Um, but let's let's take a look at what liberals find attractive, shall we? Ah, armpit hair. I can smell it from here. Sexy. So attractive. Facial hair. Yes, I like, you know, the lipstick really brings out the chin hair. That's a good compliment. Ah, body positivity. Yes, where we reject anything that's health and fitness. It's hot. Pure sex. Feminism today is complete and utter bullshit. All you're trying to do is dominate men. You don't want equality. You want domination. And that's not okay. The reason I speak on men's rights and the reason y'all get pissed off about it, here's the thing. Women are more represented. We have more sources, that re more resources that we can latch onto than men do. There's more shelters for women that, than men who go through domestic violence. Women are completely believed when they accuse somebody of sexual assault. And being a sexual assault victim, I understand that, but men go through this too. And we can't belittle their trauma because we think they should be able to handle it. While the left attacks masculinity, labeling it toxic, my seven-year-old son actually coached my daughter yesterday saying that she drew her man in her image too skinny. He said men are supposed to be strong and hairy. He gets it. Why can't they? Okay, so if y'all are going to call women birthing people, are you going to call men people fertilizers? Just wondering. So in the news this week, transgender weightlifter Laurel Hubbard is going to be competing on the women's team for New Zealand in the Tokyo Olympics. Meaning now that a bunch of biological female weightlifters are going to be competing against a biological male. Hope you all are listening because this is effectively the end of women's sports. And to the feminists out there, why break a glass ceiling when a biological man can do it for you? Police in Virginia Beach are trying to make sense of a shooting that left two people dead and eight people hospitalized. So someone replied this, Trumps are most likely in white male like always. Because you hear gun and you think Trump supporter and white. Where are the feminists? Females can do anything males can do. Why do you always assume it's a male? How dare you assume their gender? How dare you assume their race? And it would be a safe bet that they got those guns by nefarious means, but us legal gun owners are going to be the ones that are punished. And then I'll look, lo and behold, the suspects in the Virginia Beach mass shooting are finally identified. They look all male to me, but they're definitely not white. Do you see why we call it brainwashing what the media has done? You hear gun and you think white male. Just like the Colorado shooter that completely disappeared from the news when they confirmed that it actually wasn't a white male and disrupted their narrative. So, so I think, I think that, that, first, first of, all, of all, if somebody, somebody commits a sexual, sexual assault, assault, the only, the only person, person to blame, blame is the person who commits the sexual assault, assault right? That right, right off, off the bat. Mm -hmm. And victims, victims are not to blame for their own sexual yeah. assault. Yeah.
I also I think, think that, that if, you if you put yourself, yourself in a risky, in a risky situation, situation, then you've put yourself in a risky situation, situation. Mm-hmm. Right? right? We do this every day, right? Every day we make decisions about what sort of situations to put ourselves in. If I walk through a high crime neighborhood waving $100 bills above my head and then I am robbed, then it is the fault of the person who robs me. It is not my fault. But I also made a bad decision to do that. Okay, so okay, two, so two things, things can be can true at once. once. Mm-hmm. And, and it is not, not blaming, blaming the victim, victim to say that, that it's a bad, bad decision to walk through a high crime neighborhood, neighborhood at night waving your wallet over your head. head. Yeah. yeah. Right? It, it, is, is, it is also, also not, not a good, good idea, idea to go to, to parties, parties where, where drinking, drinking and drugs are, are commonplace mm-hmm. with a bunch of guys who are pigs. Yes. Right? That's just not a good idea. Now, does that relieve responsibility from the guys? 100% not. If a guy rapes you or sexually assaults you, he should be castrated or killed. Yeah. Peace up, Peace A-Town. Up. Yeah. I was busy thinking about I want my trap white Christian girlfriend with a sundress in a field of wheat. She'll have my kid. Well, yeah, if that's the case, if you don't like guns, don't. The pro-choicers fell right into my trap for this one. I wasn't comparing getting an abortion to owning a gun. I was comparing the legality of both questions. How many times have we heard pro-choicers say, oh, well, if you don't like abortions, don't get one. It doesn't affect you. Yeah, well, if I get a gun, that's not going to affect you at all. Oh, well, guns kill people. Nah, people kill people. Abortion is a question of morality. Let me tell you this, an abortion's only purpose is to harm someone because it is considered a failed abortion if the life isn't taken in the procedure. That's why the argument, oh, it doesn't affect you, doesn't apply because it affects and harms someone else. The issue that I have with abortion is not that it affects me personally, but it affects someone else and takes away someone's opportunity at life. But this video and the comment section just goes to show how contradictory being pro-choice is. Because if we're going to start using the argument, oh, if you don't like it, don't worry about it, don't get it. Okay, well then if I don't like a mask, I'm not going to wear a mask. You see? Who draws a line at the value of human life? Because I, for a fact, don't want the pro-choicers doing it. There were mostly young young men. men. 18, 19, hardly more than boys. They died on the beaches of Normandy, across France, Germany, and Italy. They never lived to love and marry a woman or feel the joy of a newborn baby in their arms. They never lived to old age, but millions of people did live and live in freedom. Because of the sacrifices of the American and the Allied fighting men of 75 years ago, the fighting men of the greatest generation, we will never forget them.